All right, love drop here in Dave's kitchen. And we've been seriously revamping Dave's place, but we have not done the kitchen. Um, it's actually a pretty good kitchen. You got your spices and your knife set and your, all your stuff. It's a little messy, and basically all that really needs to be done in here is that the kitchen needs to be just cleaned. Cleaned and take all the clutter out, and it would be fine. But I wanted to leave the kitchen in this state just to draw a contrast between what's happened here and the rest of the apartment. So, as we walk into the living room, we've got the change in atmosphere. Um, obviously, we had to buy some furniture for Dave because he literally didn't have a lot of furniture that most people already have. He didn't have a dining room set. He didn't have uh, the sofas and the end tables and everything. So we went out and bought the basic furniture that I would expect any bachelor to have. And then from there, we started our transformative process in terms of building the vibe in here with light and music and so on and so forth. So as you can see, one of the things we've done here is put a painting on the wall with a with a spotlight on it and the idea is that you know a lot of people they actually just have a light in their face you know you have a light in your face and that's your lighting for your house it just lights and then they shine right in your face and what i like to do is i like to point the light at something beautiful and then that becomes a source of light for the room so this painting is now sort of glowing we have extra ambient light added to the room without having a shiny light right in your face uh, the sofa table here has a lot of alcohol on it. The general principle is that a girl is going to drink her favorite drink if it's here. So you want to have a big variety of everything. Beer, liquor, wine, you know, uh, wine coolers, anything that a girl might like to drink, you want to have in your house. So she'll see it, she'll say, oh, that's my favorite drink. I, I love that stuff. You know, she'll pour some and drink it. Uh, if it's not here, then she may not do that. She may say, oh, I don't like that. You know, and then she doesn't see what she wants. She doesn't drink it. We want to maximize the chances that she's going to enjoy whatever she's drinking. Put a fan in here for some, uh, we got a fan here for a little airflow. It gets stuffy in apartments, and especially in this one. Um, so the fan helps keep the air moving around and feels good. As you can see, the motif here is keeping everything clean and clutter free with maybe a tray for clutter. So any kind of clutter that happens collecting around this table goes in the tray instead of being spread across the table, which looks bad. Just put in the tray. And candles, which is a contribution from Mystery. Mystery's big on candles and is always recommending the use of them. A couple of orchids here. Coming into this space, you can see that basically what I was trying to do was I was trying to create shadows in colors with uh, yellow and red lights and with plants. So the space had no plants in it before, before we did our little makeover over the past day and a half. So we put a bunch of plants in here and I tried to put the colored lights angled from the floor up so they splash colors across the wall and so they create shadows with the plants. So you get these plant shadows and reds and yellows sort of painted across the walls and the ceilings just from the light. Um, a big piece of this space looking good is the fact that it's clean and clutter free. That it smells clean and there's absolutely no clutter. Notice this motif where you have a completely empty table with maybe one candle, one lamp, one book. You don't have keys and cigarettes and you know paper plates and stuff strewn across it. And just that alone, even without the lights and, and the plants, will have a huge effect on the atmosphere in the space. If you've ever been on a golf course, you can see that a golf course that's perfectly manicured and beautiful, and right when you stand up there, you actually you know, imagine that you're standing on that golf course right now. And it's so perfectly manicured, and you feel that peaceful feeling settle over you. And I mean, unless you've been on a golf course, maybe you don't know what I'm saying, but that's a feeling that you get in a clean and clutter-free environment, that same peaceful feeling that you get on a golf course will come over you in this space because it's clean and clutter-free. It really has a huge effect on people psychologically. Instead of walking in and feeling a little edgy, instead they feel comfortable, they feel this relaxed serenity sort of pass through their body. They really feel it. And so, uh, we got Dave here. Dave, how do you like your place? It, I'm still in shock over what a little bit of money a little bit of time and then a lot of coaching can do to your place. I mean, 
again, I'm, I'm in shock over what my place was and, and what it is now. <laughs> it's, it's a whole different environment, a whole different feel. Um, you know, I can imagine people coming over here now, wanting to come in, wanting to stay, wanting to actually relax, wanting to enjoy themselves. Whereas before, you know, where I didn't notice it before, you know, now in contrast, I, I can't even believe that my place looked the way it, was, the way it did. So, yeah, it's amazing. Again, I, I really appreciate it. You know, the coaching has been the difference, obviously, and it's, it's incredible. So, thank you. Cool. And uh, tomorrow we're going to be taking Dave up to Melrose and getting him some new clothes. Mm -hmm. So, notice that this space here would have just been perfect for a nice pimp rug. Um, we didn't get one, we didn't have time, but sometime soon Dave is going to get a nice rug here and what you're looking for is a rug that is going to be really shag and, well, I don't, actually I don't, want to, I don't want to push too much of a rug style on you, but basically what you want is a rug that's going to remove shoes. You want girls to come in here and their shoes should basically just fly off their feet. Um, getting a girl's shoes off is akin to getting a girl's panties off. It's like a big moment for the girl when she takes off her shoes. And if a girl takes off her shoes in your apartment, you're like 90%, 95% of the way to sex. It's a big step. And so it's really important to get her shoes off as quickly and easily as possible without looking like you have some sort of agenda. And the best way to do that is to have a rug that's so inviting and, and it just calls out to her and says, come touch me, feel me. You know, take those shoes off, you know you want to, right? And when she comes in, if that rug looks, looks inviting enough, she will pull her shoes off so fast and then she's squishing her toes into the rug and, you know, I mean, it's just awesome. And the shoes come off a lot easier with a nice rug. So it's good to have one. And again, we sort of have this motif of clean, clutter-free, one candle, a tray. The clutter goes in the tray. Um, I had a couple people ask me about removing the laptops uh, for this shooting, but the truth is that laptops convey value. I've had many situations where we had girls over the house and we had, you know, three or four laptops played around the living room and girls comment on it, you know, they're like, wow, look at all the laptops. For some reason it's impressive to them, it looks like you have your shit together. Um, also we have the requisite pre-selection from the woman's shoe, an old mystery trick. Women have been here. Um, if you can see, we didn't really finish this spot. This spot is still kind of cluttery. It's kind of ugly. This clutter has to go. This clutter needs to go. Something. I don't know. I mean, I have to fly to Australia tomorrow. I have time to figure it out. But one thing that definitely has to go are the clocks. You know, you can see that one of them's off. Um, it's basically just bad news to have clocks. It's like, think of it like Vegas. If she's looking at the clock, she's thinking about how late it is and how she really needs to go home and she has to work tomorrow. And I don't want her, I don't want her being triggered in that way. I don't want those feelings and thoughts popping into her head over and over again when she should instead be thinking about, you know, how comfortable and relaxed she is and what a great conversation we're having and, you know, how she's suddenly feeling aroused and how that was a little bit too much wine or whatever. Um, what else have we got here? More colors, more plants, more cleanliness. You know, I, I really like what we've done here and it's really only been about a day and a half. You know, we had the latter half of one day where we went shopping and picked out some furniture and some lights and plants. And then the next day where we basically just set it all up today. Now Dave used to have a lot of wires that came down this hallway, extension cords and so on because he has a better circuit in the back of the apartment. And so we put in some track, tracks here just to keep the wires concealed, clean it up a little bit. Now here is the guest bathroom, and by the way there should be a label here on the door that says guest bathroom. Um, I didn't really do too much in here other than clean it up, but here's what we did do that's important. First of all, we stocked it, so we put shampoo and conditioner and soap and so on in the shower. And secondly, we put towels everywhere. When you come into the bathroom and you wash your hands, there's just no towels anywhere, it's kind of weird. We have towels here, towels behind the door, you know, we picked a gold color and red for the other bathroom. And another interesting thing is, notice 
inside everything is stopped you got medicine